you explain us a bit what's your paper about? Okay. What's your main take on compromise and how is it important for you to um, talk about it in a comparative perspective mm -hmm. to relate it to the Asian uh, mm -hmm. framework? So the, uh, my presentation is actually about the um, within the East Asian philosophical context, how do they actually conceive of the concept of compromise? So I do a little bit of, of hermeneutics of the concept and, and also refer to two thinkers from the Kyoto School to uh, how we can understand the concept within a contemporary Japanese philosophical context. And I think it's important to do these comparative uh, analysis of the concept uh, for this uh, colloquium because the, um, I think sometimes when we forget that the, co the notion of the compromise, when it's, it, when it's exercised, it depends on the places in which it's exercised. So if you use a different language, different notions of compromise might actually come to the fore. So if you talk to a Japanese person about the notion of compromise as a French person, there might be a little bit of differences between the way they conceive. So I think it's very important to include the comparative perspective for the global ethics of compromise. And why did you choose this specific uh, um, I'm actually a specialist of uh, Kyoto School, uh, and uh, Tanabe Hajime is someone I closely studied, um, so I, I had to put him in there. And he's a metaphysician, and also he's a comparative philosophy of religion specialist. Uh, the reason why I put Watsuji is because he is the most important figure uh, in ethics in uh, East Asian and comparative philosophical con context. And can you explain us a bit what you mean by metaphysics of compromise? What do I mean by metaphysics of compromise? Maybe the implications that the some of the things that uh, we can talk about compromise might not stay within the realm of ethics. So there's a possibility of openness beyond ethics, or is there any? So that's the sort of the question I would like to ask with this presentation. And can you tell us why you became interested by the notion of compromise in the Japanese context? Um, the, first of all, like I was invited to this conference, but I started to examine the notion uh, from the Sino-Japanese context. There's a lot of stories uh, behind how the characters actually compose and how they use the term in a contemporary Japanese society. Uh, which is inheriting the ways in which people understood the notion of compromise. Um, so I think it, it, it actually gives us some different angle to talk about different understanding of um, compromise. And I think it's really fascinating story behind Japanese phrase. Thank you very much. Thank you.